Hey guys, this is Abhishek and we are back with another video. So according to XTA, a new Android Pie port was just released for all the phones in the OnePlus lineup. So today we are going to check out the one that's for, that was released for the OnePlus One, almost a 4 year old device. Before you even start to flash this ROM, uh, you need to back up all your apps and data, especially because it's a beta build, so anything could go wrong. But I'm assuming since you actually are watching this video, you probably know that already. So let's dive right into it. After you have done taking a backup of your data in your phone, what you need to do is go down in the link description below and click on the link that I'll be posting and go to this thread and then to download section. Once you're in download, click it and this page should open where you need to click that say, the one that says bacon and then go and download the ROM from the next page that appears and save it on your computer. Also do the same for G apps and save both of them in your computer. After you have done taking the backup, what you are going to have to do is go into recovery mode. Like so. Once the phone boots up into recovery mode, wipe Delvic or Art Cache, System, Data, and Cache. Do not wipe internal storage. Now swipe to flash. Now, what I did to flash the ROM and the G apps into my phone is uh, transfer it to a pen drive or a thumb drive and then attach it to uh, USB OTG and select that storage from storage options and here as you can see we have both the files so what I'm going to do first is flash the ROM itself and then again wipe cache and Delvic cache and again go back and flash the OpenG apps for Android 9.0 Now once you are done uh, flashing the ROM and the G apps, you need to go to reboot and reboot to system. So the phone just booted up into system and from what I can see, uh, it did not prompt me to sign in first. And uh, it's clearly very buggy. But then again, this was a beta build. So it's supposed to be buggy, I guess. And let's go into system, network and Wi-Fi. Search for networks. So as you can see the keyboard is not even working properly, it's frozen. We do have the pill but it does not take you to the home screen on one tap. The back button does work. Does the camera app work? Let's see. Camera seems to be working fine. Okay, as you can see, the text is all fuzzy. So maybe I'll try and sign in, which I cannot. Two hours later. Okay, this is really messed up. Uh, I think there's something wrong with the G apps package. Uh, maybe I'll download a different version of the G apps package and uh, you know reinstall the ROM and and also the G apps and see if it works. Mind you, this is a very early build of Android 9 Pi. It's still in beta, so 
I really do not recommend flashing this ROM unless you know what you are getting yourself into. I guess I'll have to uh, wipe the ROM and uh, you know wipe the ROM and everything and reflash it again. So we are booting up, to in, up into the system again after flashing another version of the OpenG apps. Let's see if this works this time round and. Okay, uh, we have got a lot of G apps now. Let's see if we can actually sign in or something. So connecting done. It says preparing for setup. You can finish setting up your pixel soon. Well, this is not really a pixel, but yeah, I guess I'll take it. Okay, so start. Sorry, I don't have a SIM card in this phone. Okay, let me sign in to my Gmail account. Keyboard seems to be working fine this time around. So yeah, apparently I'm signed in. And that's a good start. But for some reason, I don't see the navigation pill down at the bottom. The first time I booted into the system, uh, the G apps package was not working, but at least I could see the navigation pill. To be honest, I'm not, not really a big fan of the pill, but let's see if other things work in this build. So apparently, we are signed in. Okay, we have a quick step launcher. Let's see what this is and how it feels. Okay, this is the quick step launcher apparently. Uh, do things work well? Okay, that took quite a while to load up. But so far, it's working fine. Yeah. The notification drawer is working fine, I guess. Let's go to system, advanced, system updates. Not system updates. Okay, we already have developer options enabled. And about phone. See if we can get the animation to work. Nope. This is what it still says. Does the camera work well? Okay, there's the Google camera inbuilt. So let me test this out for a few days and I'll give you my thoughts on how the build is. Is it really too early for you to maybe flash it onto your phone? Mm, this is definitely not daily driver material yet, but hopefully it will be pretty soon but the fact that you know a four-year-old device can actually run android p is really astounding so thanks for watching this video guys like this video if you liked it uh, tell me your thoughts on it do you plan to flash this rom on your phone as well let me know in the comment section below and yeah thanks for watching